Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox, and today in BuildBox Tips, we will be adding actions onto objects, which is the easy part, but then making the object disappear after it's uh, touched the character. <clears throat> Spent literally all day on this, and um, yeah, I just kind of you know, couldn't find any answers on uh, the build box forums, and I'm gonna go back in and add my answer. Maybe, yeah. And so here's here's how we do it now. To be clear, I kind of just did this, and I was so excited. I'm like, I'm gonna make a video. So here we go. Uh, let me start from the beginning here. So here's the game. Um, I'm going to delete it and hopefully, oh, oh crap. Well, looks like I'm going to have to do it again anyways. I didn't save it. Oh shit, I meant to hit yes. Okay, whatever. I'm going to, I'm going to show you how it's done. Now, so here's the game and I want to add an action that just kind of kills all the characters. Makes it a little bit easier. Whoa, tell me what, what's going on here. And so I actually have this on. So here's the game. And then eventually these balls kind of get too much. And I wanted to add an action to just kill all the enemies. <clears throat> Yesterday I spent time adding an action to make the character invincible, which I will probably also do for this game. But the issue is when you have an object, the object doesn't disappear. Uh, you can attach an action onto an object, and then once the action touches the character, the action goes into effect, which is great, but the object still remains. So whether you have that object being visible, not invisible, it's still there. And in a game like this, it's just taking up real estate. So we, we, want, it to, we want to delete it. And uh, there's a trick, <clears throat> which is kind of honestly the beauty of Goldbox is that if you can you can find ways to do what you want by knowing more of the system, then you just go another way. So I'm taking this little blue dude. I'm making it an action. I'm taking. I have a white one. Uh, I always have trouble finding the white ones. Ah, called strike. And this will be the object, okay? Um, so that kind of looks nice. So let's go into the object. Okay, so this object, what we're gonna do is bring it up right here. Always check the collision shape. It's a square, but still. So add a component, here we go. Now we add the component health. And I'm actually gonna make this object, I guess I don't have to make it an enemy. Um, yeah, anyways, add damage component. Well, if, I'm, if I want to make it an enemy, then I add a damage component, but I think I'm going to try to not make it an enemy and make it just an object, so no damage component. Health will be zero. If health is zero, is it still there? Let's find out. So big. Physics. Okay. See if this do yeah, so he's still there. Okay, cool. So this object again has zero health. Now what I do need to do is go to my character and check this out. Add a component. Damage. Damage will be one. And since I'm doing this, I kind of want to do it to the uh, enemy balls and add a health of one. And they already have a damage of one, but I'm going to put it in here just to keep my mind mentally aware and in case I want to change it later. <clears throat> so what this means is when an enemy ball hits the character, it will die. Uh, currently, it's set up the character is set up to have three lives. And yeah, okay, so now this is a platform. Make it a physics object. 
add a spawner to it. It's going to sh shoot downwards at negative 50 and spawning one every eight seconds. Uh, just make sure that all works. I find just testing almost like every step of the way is kind of helpful just because Oh, watch. And then if I, if he hits him, don't die, don't die. Oh, the object didn't die. Did I hit the object? All right. Huh. He should have died. Main character. My clicky clack. Damage of one. You know what damage? I'll just do damage of two. Um, that's what I was doing before. Nope. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go back to what it was originally. And originally, he was an enemy. This is object enemy. I think this ball is an enemy. Enemy. Enemy physics, um, and this enemy has health of zero. Oh, and then since he's an enemy, he will have a damage of zero. Now this should make him disappear because that's what happened last. Yeah, so now he disappears, and I'll let him come back so that we can have a uh, see that he still has physics on him. There he is, spinning around, and I'm gonna die. Okay, so step one, object is able to disappear when touching the character. It does not affect his health. So now here's the tricky stuff. So <clears throat> action type, kill all enemies. Now for some reason, oh, you know what? What happens is when he kills all enemies, this particular enemy has dies. So when this particular enemy dies, no more enemies come back, uh, which kind of totally messes up the game, but I'll figure that out tomorrow. So let's just do this piece here. So you take this and then you uh, cut it, go into the object default animation, paste it. Now, whenever you're pasting anything on the animation editor, always immediately go to the position and type in zero zero because for some strange reason it will just put it wherever you cannot see it to mess with your mind and don't let buildbox mess with your mind because you can do it so now now the uh, coin is there now an issue sometimes is the collision effect around the action is bigger than the object so it will give you a gameplay you do not want so let's just see if that's the case here so put the debug mode on and start see you see how big that is like it's too big um i don't know why it's that big but i do know a solution so <laughs> that works okay so we go here now you go into it you select it and i happen to know that the actual size or the scale of the object is at point 0.1. So I'm going to point this at point 0.11 just to make it kind of tiny bit bigger um, because, you know, I want you to hit the uh, kill off. And so that's still there. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Everybody's dead. And that is how you get an action on an object and then destroy the object and the action. Now I just have to figure out uh, how to keep the enemy there, maybe give him some more lives, I don't know. But that's another video for another day. If you like this tip, please like the video. If you have any suggestions or comments, I'm always open to hear, hearing them. And thanks for watching.